what do we know? We know basically what the company, or sorry, the firm has confirmed to us and to other outlets, which is that sometime over the summer they hired a law firm to look into allegations of potential misconduct against Steve Jervison, who's one of its founding partners. And, and we really don't know much more than that. We don't know sort of how long it's been going on or the degree to which um, you know, it was involved in firm stuff or whether it was you know, within the firm or between um, Mr. Jervison and maybe potential um, entrepreneurs and, and that kind of thing. So uh, Carrie Kukul m made the statement on Facebook. Uh, she also said, the situation I found myself in is personally atypical and I've not been in any other situation remotely like that. I was not seeking investment or trying to further my career. We understand that she and Jervison were involved in some sort of personal relationship. Uh, she also said that after she wrote that post that she was contacted by the attorneys who are working on this investigation. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Steve Jervison. We know he's on the board of Tesla. We know he's on the board uh, of SpaceX. Um, we know he's quite charismatic. He's been on the show before. Yeah, he's a really well-known investor in Silicon Valley. And he has a particular interest in space, in sort of fringe technologies. And yeah, obviously has a very close business relationship with Elon Musk through Tesla, through SpaceX. But you know, he's also a personal friend of his he's just he's one of these people who's very much in the orbit of some of the top entrepreneurs top CEOs top investors of Silicon Valley so it's, it's really a, a big name he, um, he invested in Hotmail in the early days and right. I believe that Draper Fisher Jurvetson is the firm that really threw Tesla a lifeline in in the early days when Tesla couldn't raise uh, money um, of course, this is just the series, the, 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 the latest in a series of scandals across Silicon Valley involving venture capital firms, tech companies, um, Justin Kaldbeck, Dave McClure, Chris Saka, uh, Travis Kalanick ha ha has resigned amidst uh, these issues around sexual harassment. You know, talk to us a little bit about the climate right now. Yeah, I think the climate is a time unlike another time we've seen. I mean, there are allegations about this kind of stuff coming out, a lot of them about recent behavior, but sometimes older. I think there's a sense that really women feel much more emboldened to speak up and say, hey, you know, I experienced this behavior and I, it, it was wrong. And the way to get attention to this behavior and to try to stop it from happening in the future is, and to hold people accountable, is to name names, to come on the record, to, to say these kinds of things. And I think the example that you brought up with this woman, this entrepreneur, who said that she had had sort of this gray area personal experience with um, Steve Jurvetson also underlines just how fluid some of the lines are between investors and entrepreneurs in the Valley. You're not working together maybe until there's an investment, but there's a lot of networking, getting to know people, and you meet, and it's sort of business, but sometimes it's personal, and, and there aren't these hierarchies um, that we're used to within the workplace where it's pretty clear that you know um, managers should not date people who are their direct reports, and, and there shouldn't be relationships like that, but it's less clear, I think, in this world between investors and entrepreneurs.